Thanks for watching Celebrating Act Two today. Art has some great and important information for all of us regarding Medicare. This is this mm. is important stuff. Now, Art, uh, you're aware, as everybody else is, I hope, that we're currently on Celebrating Act Two, airing our ten-part series with Aaron Zolbrod right. about Medicare insurance and the pitfalls thereof. But you just changed your insurance for after how many years? Uh, at least five, if not more. And I was reluctant to even think about it because I have what was originally called a supplement plan. They now call it Medigap. And because of our uh, series with uh, Aaron, and I should, uh, and we'll have a link to the playlist down below because we've right. now uh, uh, it's about uh, eight, nine or ten weeks till open enrollment comes at the end of the right. year. You get like a, a, a six-week window where you can select a new plan. But one of the things that Aaron talked about was supplement plans. And, remember. Right. And he um, uh, and I don't know whether we talked about this publicly or he did this as part of his thing, but I know that we had this conversation with him. And there's a special in about five states, California is one of them. Uh, you can go look it up on the internet uh, if see if your state applies. But there's something called the birthday rule. If you have a what was a supplement, which is now Medigap, you can actually change to another Medigap. You can't do that at the end of the year. You can only do it in a 60 day. And there may be a slightly different rule in other states. From right. In California, it's from the first day of your birthday month for 60 days. And anyway, here's the deal. I was reluctant, and I, I know I could have saved money for years on it, but I was reluctant to change it because I didn't want to screw up the fact that I have a an F plan, which is more expensive than most of the others, but it pays 100% of everything. In other yeah. words, I never pay a, a, a copay at a doctor's office. Virtually, as long as Medicare approves it, it's paid for 100%. Right. Right. And there's no, there's no prescriptions on it. It's just... It's. I think it's part A, part B. All the excess charges. Sure. Well, you're. You listen. You're not that unusual. I think most people. You know, once they go through the rigmarole of figuring out what they want, they're just going to stick with it. Right. And I think the insurance companies plan on that. Even though they change their prices every year, they kind of plan and hope that most people just don't want to go through the rigmarole every time. Right. So I was really more concerned about. Am I going to go to another company? with a lower premium, and then they're going to screw around with the doctor and I'm going to be screwed. Yeah. I found out a couple of interesting things. First of all, the Medigap coverage, whether it be F plan, which is the most expensive, but the most coverage, or N yeah. or G, where you have some, some co-pays and they're not that big, okay? They don't control what you get paid. Medicare does. So the doctor sends in the thing to Medicare, Medicare sends off to your insurance company, they have to pay it. There's no conversation about it. They have to pay it. I didn't yeah. know that. So in other words, it's not their decision. All they do is they handle the paperwork. Okay? So what it turned out to be was that I uh, spoke to, uh, I have a, I had a Blue Shield account. And in California, there's Blue Shield, which is a nonprofit. And then there's Anthem Blue Cross, which is a prop. Back in the days when there's Blue Cross Blue Shield, and so anyway, yeah. two yeah. different companies, and my wife had also has been a hundred percent happy and never wants to look at anything other than her Anthem. So I knew that Anthem had the same reputation that they paid on time; they didn't screw around with anything. So I called Anthem, and Anthem has a Medigap plan uh, in the F range. That same good coverage that gives you yeah. some extra things like vision and things like that. And uh, with a family discount and their, their, their rate was lower by a hundred dollars a month for the wow. same coverage. And I found out the reason why they did it is some of the original F plans have people who are much, much older now and their costs are increasing, but the, the F, extra or the innovative or whatever they call the other ones, but yeah. still the F plan, all the coverage is the same, except you're in a larger group in a, a larger group of, uh, in, you know, a younger enrollees. And therefore, sure. 
the rates are a lot lower, even in Blue Shield, which is still the most expensive, the one that I originally had. So in wow. any event, All right. I signed yeah, up. We, we, signed up. They must take in. you. Hold on, hold on, John. They must take you because in California and in these uh, uh, these uh, states that allow you to switch your uh, uh, Medigap coverage, yeah. there there is uh, during that thirty day sixty day period, there is no. Uh, I don't care if you've had a hundred operations, they must put you in to the plan. In other words, there are about five states that must enroll you if you enroll yeah. in that period of time. So uh, yeah, but uh, the trick is, you got to find out if you're in one of those five right, states. Right, and, right. And, and also, by the way, as Aaron said, if uh, when if you're making a decision for the first time, there are some states that if you don't enroll in this Medigap initially, you can never enroll in it. So you need yes. to be very careful. And yeah. uh, there are people who help. Aaron will help you. He's licensed in a lot of states, uh, and even in California, there is a uh, a government-funded uh, insurance uh, uh, advisory group that doesn't sell insurance. When you go to the internet and you look up Medica Medicare, Medigap insurance, yeah. that actually sends you to an insurance agent who's going to point you to one place or another, okay, because they're making a commission. And that's okay. It doesn't cost you anything, except they may put you in the wrong place. So watch the Aaron's Obrod uh, series. Right. Um, Medicare, because that will tell you the pluses and minuses of supplements yeah. versus advantage plans and all the other things in between. Right. Now, um, this is our disclaimer. Even though Art's story is fascinating, and I'm glad you saved 100 bucks a month, Art, that's great. Um, we must tell you that Art's situation may not be typical, may not be what happens to you or it may not be applicable to you. You need to do the due diligence on your own. Yeah. You need to first watch Aaron's 10-part uh, video on Celebrating Act Two. It's a good start. Then you need to get online and you need to do your own research and make your own decisions that are right for you. So you can hopefully fall into a situation like Art did. Um, don't be complacent. Every year, whatever the rules are, they might be different in your state. And they may change you in California. They may change in California next year. But also, uh, John, now that we have all the disclaimers, so it's really your fault and screw you. You know, it's not our fault. Uh, the truth of the matter is that I was inspired to do this because every year, we've never recorded this before, every year, John goes out and he shops. Yeah. Uh, particularly for your prescription. I don't know whether you shop for the, uh, the medical coverage as well. Uh, both. And, and the answer is that uh, so, almost every year I'm changing something, mm -hmm. you know, because the insurance companies or Medicap or whoever they are, prices change and one company will be different than the other. And as much as I'd like the convenience of never changing, um, why pay more for the same stuff? So it's you got to do it. So anyway, and, uh, so I have John to blame. Because I am following his lead. Okay, you you shouldn't do that. Okay, because of the disclaimers that he just said for both of us. Okay, but I did it because of John. And if I wind up with terrible coverage, it's John's fault. It is my fault. Yeah. Well, we want everybody to get great coverage at the best price possible. So watch Aaron Aaron's old broads video, ten part video on celebrating Act Two, and then get online and do your own research for your state. Right, and we'll have some links down below to the playlist for uh, him and also, also for the uh, uh, the uh, governmental agency. We're gonna give you some things for California that yeah. I just recently used. And then, yeah. then check it out and make your own decision. Yep. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.